Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us for another video uh, with our fantastic teacher, Jack Stockin. Hey, Jack. Hi, everyone. Hi. Nice to see you. Now, Jack, I hear you have a magic trick for us. Well, the word's on the street, Bashir. Yes, the word is out. But um, yeah, I've got a magic trick that I can share with you in this. Is, is this a new hustle? Is this uh, a <laughs> yeah, learn well, magic I online? Yeah, not really. Now, I'm not a member of the magic circle. I'm not very good at magic tricks myself, but it just it just appears in this bridge hand. It looks that we're about to see in a, in a second. It looks in, impossible. How can you get rid of uh, how can you get rid of the two losers? Uh, but, the, the, you know, if anything seems impossible, Bajir, there's, there's normally a way. Uh, especially when we're in, in good hands like yours. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's uh, load up the hand and uh, yeah. see see what you got for us. Well, should we go through the bidding first of all? Please. Yeah. So it's a one spade opener from South. All right. And it would be one spade, both standard and ACL. Let us know as we progress if there'd be any difference for... Yes, exactly folks. the same for those watching overseas in America, uh, right. you know, Italy, France, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, one spade would be the same. Now, North South, we're an experienced player. If you're an intermediate machine, you probably just bid four spades with that hand with 13 points. Sure, um, you strong enough for game. You got to fit. Why not? Yeah, but it's a bit of a shutout bid. So, uh, hmm. experienced players, tournament players, club players, uh, uh, experienced partnerships play this two no trump Jacoby convention. Hmm. Um, so, two no trumps here, if you're playing as a convention, is 12 or more points and at least four card support in spades. So, it's a hand that would normally bid four spades, Bajir, but basically it keeps the bidding nice and low and it means they can investigate slam. All right, makes sense, and describes the hand perfectly. Exactly. So it's a good raise. It's highly artificial, be alertable. A uh, okay. good raise in spades to the four level, but 12 or more points. Okay. Um, East, do you think East would pass, or should they bid three clubs? Only nine points, haven't they? But look at that six-card club suit. I mean, just to cause some trouble, I'd be tempted. Yes, and you know that North South have got a fit in spades. So yeah, three clubs per year, maybe as a maybe as a sacrifice, but certainly for the lead, isn't it? Partner, please lead a club. Ah, yeah, makes sense. So that makes sense. Uh, a lead directing bid, really, or maybe a sacrifice bid later on. Mm. Um, South will bid three spades. Now, when you're responding to the Jacoby Convention, this shows yeah. a kind of six loser hand. A good hand, really. If South was dead minimum for their bid, maybe only 12, 13 points, they would jump to four spades as a sign-off. So oh, when you're yeah. responding to this, Jacoby, the three spades here shows a good hand. Hmm. And, uh, and know, so, I, again, it's just keeping the conversation open. Exactly. But it is telling partner, you've got, you know, five or six spades, six losers or less, and, yeah, pretty much uh, an, uh, an above-average hand. So what hmm. Lord can, did now, or can do, is bid four diamonds. Hmm. So that, Bashir, is a qubit. Clearly, we've agreed spades between north and south. So four diamonds, says the partner. I've got the ace of diamonds. It's a qubit. Hmm. And of course, remember, north-south today are an experienced partnership. They know what they're doing. I, it's a good thing you're, you're here to make sure that we know what we're doing with this. But so what does that qubit tell partner? It tells partner that they're interested you know cooperating with slam and they've got the ace of diamonds so it's first round control and it clearly can't be natural because they've agreed spades as the trump suit so it's right. called an ace showing cubit again for experienced partnerships only a lot of intermediate improver partnerships you know they won't play cubits yet uh so it is for the more experienced player and I see South, of course, is really happy to learn about that uh, Ace of Diamonds. South loves their cooperation, so it brings out four no trumps. And today, Bashir, we're playing the more advanced version of Blackwood. It's called the Roman key card Blackwood. Okay. Um, yeah, it's the more advanced version. So you can find out about the King of Trumps. There are five aces, and the fifth ace is the King of Trumps. So here, that is the King of Spades. It's quite a complicated convention, so don't worry too much about it if you haven't learned it just yet. Um, so the response is, just to keep it simple, five clubs here shows naught or three of the five key cards. Okay. Mm. So remember, Bajir, the two aces are key cards, aren't they? Right. And, and the then, king of trumps. And then the king of spades. 
Correct. Cool, 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 cool. It's a very useful convention, but not an easy one. It's not one I teach at the moment uh, mm. on, on LearnBridge Online, but maybe one day. Uh, mm. We don't teach the normal Blackwood. But yeah, naught or three. So clearly that's three of the five key cards as far as South is concerned. And so with that, does South have the courage to jump to slam, knowing all that? South could jump straight to six spades now, Bajir, but what they can do instead, and for those who mm. play Roman key card Blackwood, you'll know about this, they bid the suit over. So a five diamonds bid here, the suit over the five clubs says, partner, have you got the queen of trumps? So have you got the queen of spades? We already uh, found out about the king. We're missing the queen sitting south. Do you have it? Correct. Uh, if Sorry, if North doesn't have the Queen, then they just sign off in five spades. But if they do mm. have the Queen of Trumps, they jump to six spades. Hang on. Let's just undo that. There we go. Six spades. Yeah, mechanical error. Um, so that says I've got the Queen of Trumps. Very useful, isn't it? Mm, mm, mm. It's one last off-ramp from going to slam, but now realizing, okay, we should be able to do this. Yeah. Uh, and experienced partnerships, you know, they do play these gadgets like Roman Keycard because it makes it easier for them to bid slams. Um, now, but they... Jack, I see the magic trick that you must have for us. The, the auction, of course, is fantastic. We end up exactly where we should be. But how are we going to deal with those two club losers? That is the question, Bajir. So we have the three of clubs singleton lead. Partner bid clubs anyway for the lead. And let's just see mm. what happens. So small club. Third player puts in the cheaper of their touching honours, the 10, and we win with the ace. Okay. But it does look as though we've, I mean, where on earth can those two club losers go? Gosh, I don't like it, Jack. <laughs> well, I don't like it either. Um, but I've kind of remembered that that two of, that three of clubs must be a singleton lead, by the way. You know, East has bid three clubs. They must have a six card suit. And the mm. three of clubs is a low one. Uh, they can't have a doubleton. So it must be a singleton club lead. So I guess if anyone would pause the video, is there any chance of getting rid of those clubs? And what we're going to try and do, Bajir, is we're going to Great. try and do an elimination and a throw-in, okay, a type of end play. Mm. First of all, we're going to draw the trumps. Okay. Play long. To the queen and back to the ace. The trumps are gone. Now, we need to eliminate the hearts. So we play the king of hearts. And a small heart to the ace. All right? Noting the fall of the jack of hearts. Do you see what we're going to do next? How about that? Yes. Well, it, it feels ripe with opportunity, but I wouldn't know what to do with it. We're, we, find, we realize east is out of hearts. We know that West is out of clubs, but what yeah. does that mean for our query, for our well, magic it, trick? Yeah, for the magic trick to work, really you've got to rough out another heart. So play out another heart, because we don't know East Jack of Hearts, they might have had the Queen as well. Okay. So we rough that one. Now we know, of course, East is out of hearts. Now that East is thrown out. Got it. Okay. Any idea what we do now? We've, we've, we've eliminated... Elim Eliminated the hearts, if you like. It's a partial elimination. We've still got one heart left. What do you think we might do next? Clearly, we don't want to play the clubs. Otherwise, we're going to lose two tricks. But Great. I wonder if the viewers watching can see from this two, three, four, five, seven card ending how we're going to how we're going to engineer this end play. Well, what we need to do first, Bajir, is we need Jack, to... Jack, I, I have to say, I'm envious of the viewer. I wish I could pause it right now. And yeah. uh, take that time. So, all right, we are here, Jack. Quick, quick, uh, freeze and unfreeze. Okay, we're back. Thank you, everyone. All right. <laughs> yeah, and when you do an elimination and end play, Bajir, you need to create a void. Normally, in one suit, sometimes two, because mm. we don't. Very soon, we're going to have an exit card. So, the three-stage plan when you're doing an end play is to well draw trumps generally. Then you eliminate a suit. We've partially eliminated hearts. Uh -huh. Then we're going to eliminate the diamonds. And then our third and final stage of the master plan is an exit card. Okay? Now, let's just play out the ace, king of diamonds. That can do us no harm whatsoever. And that's just creating that second void 
Correct, Bajir. We've now got a void in both hands. It's a very powerful position. So I wonder if you or the viewers can see what we do next. We're in dummy, aren't we, with the Ace of Diamonds? Which card should we play? You know, I don't understand why, but my my gut is saying play the Nine of Hearts, but I don't know why. <laughs> well, your gut is right, because if you play a club, you've got to lose two tricks. Right. Um, yeah, you, you know that, and you can see that from the diagram. But look what happens. You play the Nine of Hearts. And guess what we're going to do from our own hand? I mean, are we, we, can, we can afford to lose one trick, can't we? So is it, okay. Wow. Roughing it is not going to help us because then we've still oh. got two club losers. How right. about Maria, the loser on loser play? Ah, uh, brilliant. And then West is on lead. We're avoiding East from being able to cash those two clubs. Correct. We know that East has no hearts left. So West is on lead and they are end played now. Whoa, beautiful. Because they only started with a singleton club, so they can't exit in clubs. They either have to play a heart or a diamond, which is going to give to De Clara a rough and a discard. It is mm. like a magic trick. One of those losers has disappeared in a puff of smoke. So let's say, for example, they play the diamond. They could play a heart equally well. Just got to be quite careful. You've got to remember to rough in the dummy. Right. Yeah, there'd be no point roughing in our own hands. You know, we need to get rid of that nine of clubs, not the six of clubs. And we get a rough and a discard, and that losing nine of clubs goes away. That's so cool. It's quite a fun hand, isn't it? I'm just going to draw trumps, Bashir, just to finish off the uh, sure. hand. But the rest are ours, of course. So you've just totally severed their ability to get back and forth. And the one remaining suit, the diamonds, which they both had, we were in, we set up our position to be able to trump that. Correct. Correct. So it was really an mm. elimination and end play with a bit of loser on loser thrown in as well. Um, but uh, it's a really neat hand. I mean, it's the kind of hand budget you could probably stare at for about uh, three hours. In fact, three days and not work out how to do it. But it's one of those things, if you've done it before, it's, it's a little bit easier to do at the table. I must say, if I did that at the table, I'd be, I'd be quite pleased with myself. It's not automatic. Mm. Ah, that is just beautiful. My gosh. Well, uh, for anyone watching us, watching this, um, if you pause it, or maybe even some of you, if you didn't, leave a comment below. Did you spot the way through this? We that's might right. have uh, some uh, magicians in our midst. Yes, and that's a really tough hand. You know, when I teach during the week on Mondays and Wednesdays, the hands are more kind of intermediate and prover based. Mm -hmm. But that's a really high level hand, uh, just to see how the experts a would bid to, um, you know, six face via the Jacoby Tuno Trump convention, and b uh, how they would play the hand. So um, yeah, they're not all as tricky as that on my on my weekly classes. Believe you me. Uh, in fact, they, they don't ever get as tricky as that. But I just thought it'd be a nice, you know, kind of November treat. Uh, to share that with the viewers and uh, yes do pass it on email it to your friends as well because it's a fascinating hand oh beautiful beautiful auction and gosh yeah how you did that really well jack i don't know we might be able to just send in this video and you might be accepted to, uh... <laughs> yes do send it into the magic circle Bajir. we'll see what happens um, right. I'll, I'll wait for the envelope to fall on my um <laughs> through my letterbox uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah no, really enjoyed uh, sharing that one and of course um you know, we do week, as you know, I do weekly lessons with you uh, with LearnBridge online. So, yeah, and do share it with your friends, uh, bridge playing friends. I wouldn't share it with your non bridge playing friends. That may not be a good idea. Or, or, or the magicians, you know. Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes. Keep it away from the magicians. That's my little secret. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Jack. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Till next time. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye.